Hey guys, last video for the night, and we are at Ward the Mamluks, and we've turned it around in our favor. So, yeah. The Russians are coming to help us. Um, we're... Honestly, I'm going to see if I can demand what I want from this war as is. Um, I want Damascus. Hmm. I want Gaza. Actually, no, I'll take that. I'll take that and some money. There we go. Working our way ever closer. Alright, the theme of Georgia. Go back up to Georgia. The theme of Thrakes. Go back up to Thrace. And the theme of... Actually... Thema Asia. Because they're going to take over like just in Asia in general. And then we'll probably create a theme of Africa when the time comes. Now we just gotta wait for a while. Till we can do something again. My highest revolt risk is in Corsica. It's odd. Anyway, I can, um. Build some stuff. So I think I'll build some level 3 forts. Let's see. Wanna fortify Italy? Well. Well. Fortify here, the uh, the Balkans area. Give you a level two fort, might as well. And that'll be it for now. All right, Transylvania exists, but it is separate than separate from Hungary, which is which is its own country. So, um, yeah. Bohemia is going to eat Hungary and, get, and just get huger and huger and huger. Balakesser is now the true faith. I'll send a missionary here. We are truly blessed. Indeed we are. All right, now I just need to wait for some for some uh, cores to pop, and I think I'll be making a bigger income than I ever was before. How big is my army now? It's got 196 regiments, so I need to build one more, one more theme. Can I afford that? Yeah, I can. I can afford that. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Three, four, one, two. Okay. And I guess this will be the theme of Anatolia. The theme of Asia will just be um, this area. That'll work. Oh, it's a wasteland right there. Didn't know that. Someone commented on how big uh, Najd was. Nashed is big, but you look at this wasteland. You know, it's, um, they don't have that much land to, uh, exploit. Oman's pretty huge as well. But once again, it's, um, ugh. Stop looking at the sky, alright. Um, I was gonna say something. Yeah, um, Oman's huge as well, but if you look at it, you know, it's not got anything that's worthwhile. So, you know, it, yeah, it's big, but it's not really, not really that big. New advisor, we're getting a lot of advisors. Let's see, you guys all go to Cappadonica, because it looks pretty central. All of you. Alright, and that puts our economy in the crapper, but it's also uh, gives us the army that we need, the army size that we need. And see, if you look at um, this, once these cores pop, like, I think this is going to be the first one to pop. 
once these pop, we're gonna get some amazing, amazing profit, some amazing income. Compared to what we have now, of course. Right now, it's not too bad, but probably need to build some of these. Counting houses do production, so we need to look at production. Right, counting house. Now tax. Do treasury there. And uh, treasury there. Those are expensive. But they will help in the long run, so can't really complain. Why is the theme of Georgia not... Oh, it's because it's on a ship, that's why. Theme of Georgia, go home. I don't know why they're on a ship, to be honest. I guess they retreated there or something. Hmm. Ah, oh, it's so late, my eyes are starting to hurt. Milan will see Cremona and Triste. They've taken uh, quite a chunk out of Milan. Oh, Burgundy still, ex Burgundy still exists. Interesting. So if I went to war with... Uh, Milan over Venice. I could um, get into war with Burgundy, Portugal, Siena, Ansbach, Aragon, and Austria. So I'll wait until my Austrian warning wears off, then I think I'll do it. And then, you know what that means? Then it's time for the formation of the Roman Empire if we can get Venice away from them and that would just be amazing because I think we've exhausted all of the really good Venetian or bin events I don't think there's any, that many good ones left because I guess they don't really expect you to make it this far most of the time as the Byzantines because they are quite hard hard to start off with but you know now now we're pretty settled in and you know, we got some awesome uh, things going on for us. Okay, our land tech is still 26 years ahead of time, six, or 16 years ahead of time. So we'll just do government, I guess. Tech map mode. Yep, best tech in the world. At least, at least up there. I, I'd argue with tie with the Netherlands, but our name is huge again. You know, it's getting bigger. Next war with the Mamluks, I'm getting. I'm gonna get this. That'll give me a border with Persia, which someone argued against. Maybe I'll um, only get these two, but it'll be fine either way. And our revolt risk isn't looking too bad anymore. How about the theme of Grecia move up a little bit. Well, they can stay in Athens, I guess. You move down a little bit. There we go. Ah, new king who sucks. Manuel, Manuel the, I think it's, oh, he sucks too. He's an awesome administrator, but he's terrible at everything else. Hmm, we're getting some bad kings. We had some amazing kings for a while, but I guess, you, know, you get some good ones and you get some bad ones. Alright, let's see. We're losing a lot of money per month. Maybe I can just reduce this a little bit by 10. I'll make a huge deal actually. A huge deal. Yep. That's actually a pretty big difference. Alright. I think with a proper leader we can take them out here even even without any um, even without paying our soldiers fully. Yep. We're still paying them some so it's not like they're completely screwed. All right. We only have one navy because honestly, if you once you start splitting splitting up navies, then it then it gets a confusing and b another uh, your navy your navies can be picked off you know one by one, which is why I like to avoid doing that. And honestly, where are we going to use our navy? We only need it kind of in like a, this area. We're never going to go. We're never really going to go past here. And we're never not going to need it up here too much. So in this area is where we're going to need it. Unless we get into war with like Denmark or something. We wanted to take the uh, fight to the home front. But I don't foresee that being a problem anytime soon. Speaking of Denmark. End of religious turmoil. And they remain Catholic. Good for them. For sticking to their guns. Honestly I don't care. 
whether they stay Catholic or anything. All right. They're allied with Byzant Byzantium, Lithuania, and Georgia. Bosnia is. Aristocrats grateful to our favor. So is Austria still warning us? They are not. That's interesting. Ah, we converted the heretics of that place. So if Austria is no longer warning us... And I went to war with Milan... Against the military access. Don't need it anymore, at least. Uh, hold on. 28th of June. I'll accept it if I can't declare war on them. Okay, we've been warned by Austria, so they'll intervene with that, but they won't intervene if we go to Parma. Oh, because Austria's already allied with them, so... Yeah, why not? We'll give it to Milan for just a little while longer. And I don't want to get into war with Austria. Not at all. You see, how big is their army? Let's look at the army ledger. We haven't looked at that in a while. Number of provinces, we are... I love how it's directly proportional to, like, the, um, Mamluks, or whoever, whoever these are, Austria. I thought it was the Mamluks. It'd be funny if it was directly proportional. <laughs> enemies, don't have any enemies currently. Friends, largest. So we are the largest, still the largest nation in the world. Which is nice. But we need to look at armies. Armies. It's navies. Who has, well, navies, look at navy, navies, too. We're fifth. Um, barely being beaten out by England. Hindustan beats us, who we probably have a better naval technology than. Portugal beats us, and Denmark beats us. Alright, that's... None of those are really big competitors of mine. Spain is not a competitor. France is not a competitor. Mamluk Navy is a non-entity. We've barely come to blows with Aragon, ever. Largest armies in the world. France, Russia, Hindustan, Bohemia, Spain, Byzantium. So, we are nowhere near the largest anymore. But... I think that's mainly because France has a better economy than us. Like, if you look at this, um, not trade value. Uh, what, it, what? Where is it? There, there has to be an economy map mode. I swear there is one. Like, come on, it's here somewhere. It might, it might be just be this. Like, the more green the provinces, the better they are, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm being stupid. But we will lose our truce with the Mamluks in two years. So while we're waiting for the Austrian... Ah, holy war against that Conlu. Might as well do that. Oman, Armenia. Okay. Let's do that. Alright, they should be pretty hard, far behind in tech. They are. Armenia, Oman, Hassa, Hejaz. Whatever. Almost out of time, but I think I can uh, finish this up real fast. Real quick, like. Alright, go there. Win this battle real quick. And siege. And a next. Anyway, guys, I am out of time. So, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.